Hey everybody, it's Bobby Jo and welcome to my home. I am coming to you from the Maritimes of Canada and I'm coming to you with um, a pocket letter that I made um, for Victoria's um, Victoria Crafts and Creates. Um, she has a contest going on and all she wants is a pocket letter sent. She's not even asking for anything to be put in it, um, though we can for sure, but um, it was nice of her just to say, you know what, that's all I want and, to, and things like that. So, um, I did make this pocket letter for her. It's, it's a full one. Um, but I figured I'd go through section by section. Um, and I have not, um, made a pocket letter, like a plastic one in quite some time. So I'm kind of happy with this, this one, how it came out. Um, anyways, if you want to join, um, Victoria's, uh, contest, you go down below and I think on one of her videos, if I remember correctly, she asked us to put our name if we were going to do it. But, uh, I think that's on a haul that she did with, um, Thelma Hall. So... Um, yeah, just look for that or her other contest whenever she's doing the contest. And yeah, so anyways, um, this one here, I did, um, I did it with some, uh, like a, a older paper pad that I had. So what I did is I just made sure the, the border was the same. I wanted it the same all the way around. And um, these are not in the right order because <laughs> because I do want it all the way around so I have to put them in the right order. Um, but it, for, for show I will keep them <laughs> where they're at. Anyways, here is some of my favorite things to use when vintage comes along. I know it is steampunk but it just screams like vintage to me um anyways just made a little banner with it and down here uh an old-fashioned um radio i forget i've had it for years i don't even know where it came from um this one here just one of those birds from dollar tree up on um some gold and then just perfect which all birds are of course this one, Victoria does like her cats, so I put this one as a cat. It's actually supposed to be over here, but <laughs> I will fix that after you and I go through this. Anyways, the thing down the side, um, I did put it opposite because that way it's easier to get the stuff behind um, because you've got that, you've automatically got that lip. So, um, anyways, these are the ones from Dollarama, the long, um, ones, and I will show a full pocket, pocket, yeah, pocket letter here soon. So anyways, these are, this is, um, a Forever in Time cat. Um, it looks like it is not only vintage, but it also looks like it's stained glass. So I really like that. And then these are from Dollar Tree stickers that uh, my friends were so kind in sending me. Um, next up is the ones that should be this and this. <laughs> this should be over here and that vice versa. But anyways, I just did some picks inside here um, and then just kind of ruffled almost a doily. And put lives simply, and then a, an old clock there. And then there's my shaker. And this is um, this one here is um, Tim Holtz, but this one actually this one's Tim Holtz too. I think it's one from one of his ephemera packs. I have had this background paper forever. This one here. Just, um, this is Tim Holtz down here. It looks a lot like those, 
I don't know whether they called them, did they call them ebony or something? I don't know. Then remember this. This is just a cluster that I did with um, first this lace in the back. And then that's Tim Holtz. This is off of a letter I got or a shipment I got from China. Um, and this is just a picture from um, the book that Mario asked, advised, told me I could have. So I just, and this is one of the things I cut out of it. And then finally, this is Bo Bunny. And then never forget this moment. And you can see how the how the thing almost reaches to the end. It's just a little notch uh, off of it. So um, I'm trying to decide if I should put a should put a um, a tassel on it, but I don't think I will because of this thing. It's it's not going to do the holes. So yeah, that's been my project for the weekend. Um, I um, yeah, so I think I did all right. For my, I haven't done it in a while. So I think I did a good job, and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.